The boxing year for 2010 kicked off with Cuban sensation Yuri Gamboa taking on Rogers and Tagua in a bid to set up a super fight with Juan Manuel Lopez. Hand speed, obviously the edge to Gamboa. Gamboa is caught in Tagua with a lot of punches oh, and actually hurt him with that punch. Pretty definitive round for Yorkis Gamboa. And down goes M. Tagua. And here we're going to see a, a left hand high to the head. Left hook, boom. By Gamboa. If Tagua drops his hands after he throws a punch, and that's very dangerous for a man like this. Oh, like, left, this right. This is what I'm telling you. Hurt him. Good left hand to the body, right to the chin. Down goes M. Tagua. Look at it. One. It's fast and slow motion. Five punches, five punch combination. Unbelievable. Tagua wings one right, walks into another left again. He's right. not seeing that left. And he did not react well to that left hook. He blinked and looked like he was in, like really hurt by the he, shot. He, Tagua needs to hold on now. He's at a great disadvantage right Good now. Good stoppage. So Good stoppage no by referee no Steve no no After Gamboa's impressive showing, Juan Manuel Lopez attempted to demonstrate his own talent against WBO featherweight champion Steven Luevano. With Gamboa looking so good and a potential fight between Lopez and Gamboa, put a little extra pressure on Lopez to try to look real good. Luevo is, is waiting. You don't wait. You be first. It's in the minds of the judges because they're seeing that you're being first, starting off the combination, good. and you're ending the combination. Good uppercut there by Lopez. Had a real good round, but other than that, it's still one man where Lopez landed a power shot. He lands right hooks, he lands oh, left hooks. Look, look at that right hook. I mean, he's staggered him with that right hook. That's why he's winning this fight. And down goes Lou Evano. Four, five, six, seven. I don't think he's going to be able to recover from this. Once you go, hadn't used the punch a lot. We're going to take another look at it, but it's perfectly placed. Well, it was a good punch. Um, you know, like I said, he wasn't able to recover from that. Most boxers could recover from that, you know, because they have that toughness. But, you know, he got caught with a couple extra punches. Top world to weight contender Joshua Clotty took on pound for pound king Manny Pacquiao in an attempt to annex Pacquiao's WBO world to weight crown. I think these first few minutes have enormous significance. There's a combination for Pacquiao, and he manages to rip a left through the guard. Clotty pretends to wobble. Clotty's making every punch count, but he, as Jim, you say, he needs to throw I, more I often. I say different. I say Clotty landing the strings take punches. A minute left in the round. He's already thrown 61 punches in the round. Hard right hand by Clotty. But, but this is how Clotty fights, and normally it's enough to win, in, uh, you know, except when he's stepped up against the That's best right. But he knew he was fighting Manny Pacquiao. But when he steps up in class, he loses. And what fights. we all knew is that he would have to be someone he's not. Five punch, six punch combination. Body shot, body shot. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Try and stop it. Bang, bang. Here I come. Bang. Do you want to throw sometime? Bang. This is the Manny Pacquiao who has dominated boxing for the past three years. Bang! 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 Down the stretch they come. It looks as though Manny Pacquiao's spectacular winning streak continues. In the talented and competitive junior welterweight division, WBC belt holder Devon Alexander was aiming to add Juan Arango's IBF strap to his collection and prove that he is the top dog in the class. Arango could be wide with his punches. Nice uppercut. You know, I haven't seen Juan Arango throw too many jabs out there. He's, you know, he's not one of those kind of guys that throw a jab. He always leads with that right hook. What are some of the things that Arango could do to deliver more of them and even more effective? Well, you know, he oh, needs to throw the left right there. Yeah. Shot by Alexander. Yeah, you can. I mean, pressure breaks the pipe. Oh! oh. oh. Uppercut knocked down. Urango. And you don't want to get hit when you when you're winding up throwing a punch and you get hit at that moment. That's like a shocking punch. Boom! Like he got shot. 
Well, he got off the deck against Bailey to win. Can he do it again? He's, we talked about that experience in the last fight. He's going to have to summon that again, and he's hurt again, and down he goes. It was a situation where he was throwing a punch and got oh, caught with that same uppercut. Fast Eddie Chambers was the latest heavyweight to attempt to dethrone Vladimir Klitschko. An uneventful fight would be capped by a concussive ending. I know it uh, might not seem much to you, but relative to other opponents, and that's a right hand though. Oh, he's in trouble. Chambers in all kinds of trouble. Oh, left hand, Chambers is down. What a punch that was. What a punch from Vladimir Klitschko. It was the wearing down, and there it was. John Ruiz stood opposite David Hay in a bout which many hoped would feature Hay versus Klitschko. Hay used the bout to showcase his speed and stunning power. They reckoned he would go for this and he's going for it early. Oh, what a win! And down goes Ruiz, what a punch that is! In the opening half a minute from David Hay. So resilient man who's only ever been stopped once and that was 14 years ago. He's in massive trouble, another right hand round the back of the head, he says. But he's down again. He's the man who keeps bouncing back. But my goodness, Harry, he'll have to bounce back in this fight. I think even John Rees has to think, I can't take too many, look at those. Tremendous shots, combinations. That's beautiful. Well, as you can see, a man who is not easily discouraged. We wonder did he come here for the pension job? No, he's here for the title. Lovely punching from here. Oh, right hand, then left hand. The good roll from here. Lovely oh, shot. Right hand is down again. He's claiming it's another rabbit punch. Well, just when Ruiz felt maybe he was getting a little foothold, that's what a champion does. Speed has often beaten him before, Ruiz. Oh, tremendous punches. Right hand, then a left. He's in reverse this time, Ruiz. And they're going to put the towel in. It's over. David Hay is still the WBA heavyweight champion of the world. Mikkel Kessler had home support in his favour as he attempted to annex the WBC super middleweight title from Britain's Carl Froch in the second round of the super middleweight super six tournament. Frotch landed this freight train right hand. Oh, another crushing right hand by Frotch. But that freight train right hand by Frotch pushed Kessler back. Kessler's being very aggressive in this round, and there's the hook. Right hand is something that during this round yep. we haven't been seeing him use. That's a real oh, oh my. A nice staggering right hand by Kessler, and Frotch is hurt. And we see here this short right hand by Kessler. That was a pivotal. Oh, wow, that left hook by Kessler, a strong one. Carl Frotz, during the course of that round, had good moments himself this moment. Oh, loving right hand followed by a left hook by Kessler. Wow. Now Frotz coming back, punching through. Both these fighters has, have given their all from the very beginning of this one. Now Kessler moving in. Montoya told him to take it if he wants it. Here's Kessler. Frotch answering in the center of the ring, toe to toe. Nice left hook by Frotch. Backs up Kessler. Under a minute to go. Look at him. Toe to toe. Man to man. Kessler with Frotch on the ropes. Now Frotch fights off the rope. Kessler fighting for his Super 6 life. Right hand landing by Frotch, who's cut under his left, over his left eye. Talk about laying it all on the line. What a fight here in Denmark. Five seconds, right hand, left hook, Kessler, and that's it. The winner and the new WBC Super